Hi everyone, my name is Melanie and thank you for clicking on my YouTube channel, Advice from Melanie. I am so happy that you are on this channel, whatever brought you to this channel, I hope it was the title because I worked on that title so hard. Whatever brought you here, I'm so happy that you decided to click on my video and I'm so thankful. So thank you again, thank you. I hope you watch it all the way through and I really hope that you subscribe. Subscribe down there. I want to be able to share the advice I've gone through in my life. I may look young, but you know, we all have our stories. We've all been through things. I cannot wait to hear yours, answer your questions, and also, you know, go on this journey, continue to go on this journey together. So, thank you again for clicking. Today, this video I'm filming is going to be about my nighttime skincare routine. Now, usually nine times out of ten i do the exact same thing every night right now for like i've changed it up actually i changed it up a few days ago so it's not exactly the same it is um maybe one thing is different but that's about it everything else is usually the same i am always looking up uh skincare routines that i can incorporate in my own skincare routine so i know that everybody has a pm skin routine and i wanted my first video to be on that because i know everybody is always thinking of adding something new to their own or borrowing someone else's so this is what i do and i hope you guys enjoy so next scene before we get started on the skincare routine i personally like to change into my pjs or if you don't go to sleep with clothes on then you know put on a towel because what i'm wearing right now i do not want to get dirty so let's go ahead and change and we'll be right back now that we're in pjs we are ready to go i personally like to put my hair up and i just bought a headband so i'm so excited to use it tonight it's my first time using it i like to put my hair up in a clip i don't like rubber bands just because they're hassle and a clip stays more and i have thicker hair so i need something good to grasp it on so Put that on real quick. Clip on. I have my headband on. It is super cute. I love it. It's so cute. Oh, but before we get started, fair fair warning. I have my acne has gone down down since the last like seven eight years almost. But be warned. I do have acne. You know, I'm gonna be turning from the sides. You can even see it. You can even see it right there let it focus right here the lights help i have lights set up so you can't really see it but yes so be warned i do have acne which is why like i said i want to film this for you guys i want to show you that everybody has acne i'm an adult i have adult acne i've had it forever so i'm slowly you know getting my skincare better i'm slowly getting my slowly getting my skin better but you know, I just honestly take it day by day, and that's all I can do is just take it day by day, and you know, see the differences in my skin, and from there, you know, just take it day by day. I oil cleanse with hemp seed oil specifically because it's high in linoleic acid. So I have these mini towels. I'll show you that when it gets bigger. Right now, I heated it in the microwave for 30 seconds, so I want to keep that heat in there. And this is gonna be for when I oil cleanse. So I oil cleanse with hemp seed, organic hemp seed oil. And once I'm done, I take it off with a warm towel. That's how I oil cleanse. I have very, very oily skin, like oily, oily skin. So I have, oh, I my skin produces enough oleic acid. I need linoleic acid. So first, Wash your hands because your hands have been touching everything and I'm pretty sure that you've been touching your phone within the last minute. So first, let's wash our hands. Ready to go, my hands are clean, they're just washed. They are technically sterile. No, they're not sterile. So first off, I have contacts and I have fake eyelashes on, so I have to get those off, so let's. Ouch. God, I think I got that one super close to my hair. Or not my hair i'm sorry my eyelash because that hurt ouch i just took off my eyelashes it hurt i hope i'm not crying but now i need to take off my contacts how has your guys's day been please let me know in the comments 
how has your day been and you know what I'm so sorry I should have warned you I'm taking out my contacts in front of the camera I'll probably edit that out but how has your guys day been going hope it's been going good I hope as you're watching this channel you're having a good time and you know hopefully you wash your face after this my contacts off so now I'm gonna take my eye makeup off my eyes and my eyebrows that just then comes off um, I personally take it off without the oil just because I don't want to get oil in my eyes so I take it off with um, the micellar water so let's go ahead and take that off get a cotton ball and because cotton balls are so big I take a piece and I take it off and I personally like cotton balls better than the pads I feel like they're less wasteful if that makes sense because look how much I get from just one cotton ball. So I usually break it up and use multiple. Please let me know in the comments if you guys like my cellar water. I only use it on my eyes. I don't use it to take off my makeup, but that is fine. So I'm not gonna look in the mirror right away as I take this off. I'm just gonna go based off of how long I've been doing this. And I've been doing this for quite a while, so I shouldn't even need the mirror. You guys are catching me making my faces. <laughs> so please put in the comments if you guys make these faces. I swear, sometimes these faces are natural. We don't even try to do them, it just happens. Oh, look, there it goes again. So I still have some in my lower lashes, so now I'm just gonna use um, a Q-tip, and I'm just gonna put it all over it, and I'm just gonna do the bottom, the bottom lashes. So let me do that real quick. Got a lot off, as you can see. Take another cotton ball. I just, I just know that sleeping with makeup is really, really bad. Please, please do not sleep with your makeup. Like, I, I can't sleep with my makeup on. Even if I, um, if I put my face on the pillow, once I, like, put my facial products on, I don't sleep. I cannot sleep. I'm just, like, I have to sleep on my back because I'm just thinking this is coming off, this is coming off my face, this is coming off my face. So usually after I wash my face, I like to play games on my phone. I like to play Disney Kingdoms. I don't care how old am I. Disney Kingdoms is so much fun. They're adding the Emperor's New Groove soon. Please comment if you also play that game. But I just, I really, I can't wait till they add more land. And I also play Diner Dash. Diner Dash is so much fun. I love it sure that I got that all off now we are gonna do the oil cleansing so in the oil cleansing I just take you know about what's in here and I just put it on my hand and usually one pump is enough but I like to do more just because I have so much makeup on tonight so I'm just gonna do a little bit more and I like to use the natural oil because I feel like I'm not as wasteful with products as in the balm. I know that I would just go through the balm a lot and then just throw it away and why do that? It makes me sad. So I just warm it up in my hands before I go. And honestly, I'm not going to oil cleanse too long. Haha, <laughs> I look like Joker. But I'm not going to oil cleanse too long. I'm going to oil cleanse for about a minute. Just oil cleanse for about a minute. But honestly, you could oil cleanse for 15 minutes. If you want to watch a movie or watch your show where you're taking off while you're oil cleansing, by all means, watch a movie, watch your TV show for 15 minutes and just rub your face. Now. Don't rub too hard because this is your face. You want to be gentle. Put up strokes, you know? This is my facial towel. It is not as warm, but it's okay. It'll still do the job. Maybe next time I should warm it up for a minute. And I'm just gonna take it off. And it looks like I'm rubbing hard, but honestly, <laughs> I'm not. 
I'm not rubbing super hard. And I'm just taking it off. Don't forget to take it off in your hairline because that's where a lot of our makeup goes. And just under your neck. One more time. Don't forget under your eye, around your nose. All right, so this is all the makeup that came off. It is a lot, a lot of makeup. It's a lot. My face with a cleanser, I make sure to wet my face when I'm going to wash. So I put about three pumps. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. Okay. And then. Now this. I wash my face for 60 seconds. I never knew I was supposed to wash my face for 60 seconds. And I watched um, this one YouTuber that started this whole thing. After 60 seconds of rubbing my face with this, it's usually gone. So let's wash our face. Now we're done washing our face, so I am just gonna get a towel. I like to use white towels. And I use white towels because then I see where I missed. And I just pat. You always wanna pat. You never wanna rub because this is just too hard, too harsh on the face. So you just wanna pat. This is another reason why I use white towels because I could see if I got off all the makeup and I basically did. Just had a little brown right there. Now we are going to move on to toner. I love this toner. I love it so much. This toner is so good. I ran out for like a couple weeks and I was using this toner and not that it wasn't good. They're from the same company but this one my skin just loves it. And this is specifically for clear skin so I use this all the time. And now a toner helps the rest of what you put on your face just get absorbed really well. Move on to hyaluronic acid. This is from the same company as my facial cleanser. So this is my hyaluronic acid. It's just honestly take a dab. A little bit goes a long way with this. You can see right here that you do not need a lot. And I do not need a lot. So just gonna fan that out. Go. The hyaluronic acid you could either put on your toner, but I am using um, a retinoid and because I'm using this retinoid it goes on after the hyaluronic acid because it goes on before my moisturizer but because I put on toner I put on my retinoid my toner and then my moisturizer after so this I put on and honestly you need a pee this one is 0 0.25 is the one I'm using but I also use the 0 0.05 so I use both. It's just that right now I'm working my way up to the 0 0.05 again. So I put this on every two days. And then the third day I use the 0 0.05. I wait for the retinoid to dry. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, I brush my teeth and I floss. So I will be back after I'm done doing those. Okay, I'm back. Um, I brushed my teeth. I flossed and now it's time to put on my toner again. I just quickly air dry my face just because it takes too long. If you have a fan, by all means, use your fan. Go for it. So, I don't have a fan, so I just quickly air dry my face because I want it, my moisturizer to go, my nighttime skin moisturizer to go on nice and not be super watery. I don't want my skin to be super wet because then it doesn't really stick to my skin. Same company as my toner. <sighs> this smells good. This has been helping. Um, I used a different facial cleanser. I used the Cetaphil before. This is from Andalou Naturals. And I like it. It's really good. It's really smooth. My skin hasn't been complaining. Um, again, you don't need a lot. This is how much I use. So 
this is how much I use. It's not a lot. You don't need a lot. You just need to, you know, rub it out on your head. Again. I know some people pat it, which I am all for. Go ahead. Patting helps with not putting so much stretch on your skin and less, less wrinkles and more absorption of the product. Yes, I wear glasses. I know you look so different. Oh my gosh, she wears glasses. Yes, I need glasses to see and I need to see the camera. If not, then I will be squinting at you and I don't want to squint because then you're going to be like, oh my god, what's wrong with her? So, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching it all the way through. I am so happy that you watched it all the way through. I really hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down there below. And also, please comment, comment, comment. I am going to be on this like the first hour after just responding to your comments. So please comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me what you want to see in future videos. And tell me, you know, just anything. I'm here to listen to you. I'm here to give you advice. My channel is called Advice from Melanie. So thank you. Bye. Ugh, I probably need to be louder. Hi. We're recording. This is take one. Okay, so, sorry, take one. Half this is on and it's gonna be good. Okay. Check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. I should just do that one. <laughs>